the Davenport automatic screw machine, the work spindles, Now that you are familiar with the four areas of the machine, we will explain the components of the work spindles. Remember, there are five work spindles. The work spindles are located in the revolving head. The work spindles turn counterclockwise. When the revolving head indexes to each position, it also moves counterclockwise. The work spindles. The work spindle consists of two main parts the outer spindle and the inner spindle. Contained inside the front of the outer spindle is a chuck. This chuck opens and closes. When the chuck opens, it releases its grip on the stock. When it closes, it grips the stock while the tools are doing their jobs. The inner spindle and the outer spindle revolve as one unit. The inside front end of the outer spindle is angled to correspond with an angle on the chuck. As the outer spindle moves laterally, this angle causes the chuck to open and close. The parts of the machine that cause the outer spindle to move and the chuck to open and close are located on the rear of the inner spindle. These parts are commonly called the chucking mechanism. The chucking mechanism. The chucking mechanism is made up of these parts. The chuck lever sleeve, the chuck lovers and chuck lever pins, the chuck lever fulcrum, the chuck lever extensions, and the chuck adjusting nut. Each of these parts performs a specific function. The parts of the chucking mechanism work together to control the opening and closing of the chuck. The chucking mechanism is activated by the chuck and feed cam, which will be discussed later. Closing the chuck. The forward motion of the outer spindle closes the chuck. That is, as the outer spindle moves forward, the chuck closes. This is what occurs. The chuck slide moves forward and pushes the chuck lever sleeve forward. The chuck lever sleeve collapses the chuck levers. The chuck levers are held in place by the chuck lever fulcrum. As the chuck levers collapse, the pressure ends of the levers engage the chuck lever extensions. The chuck lever extensions are pushed forward and push the outer spindle forward. This forward motion closes the chuck. The chuck grips the stock. As this process is reversed, the chuck opens. The opening and closing of the chuck is accomplished automatically when the machine is making work pieces. The chuck may also be opened and closed manually. This will be explained later. However, the process is the same whether the chuck is opened and closed manually or automatically.